WordPress web design is a reality and actually many people make a living from it. So should you start WordPress web design? Let's find out. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the digital alchemist. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three reasons why I think you should start WordPress web design in 2021 and beyond. Now, before I get started, the main reason, and I don't even count that in the three reasons, but the main reason why you should pursue a WordPress web design career is because you love it. You get to shape ideas into fully functional websites. You get to design, you get to create. So if you're a creative person, web design is very fulfilling in my opinion. Now, this makes sense to me and maybe it makes sense to you, but I had to outline it. Now, if you don't have a passion for design, maybe you're more of a coder type of person. And in that case, check out my video that talks just about that. And also in this video that you're watching right now, why do I refer to WordPress web design and not just web design in general? Well, because being a web designer in the WordPress ecosystem is not better or worse, but it comes with specific tools and specific processes. And like many people, that's what I've decided to focus my business on, at least at the time of recording this video. Now, about my three reasons. One, more demand. With a crisis such as what's been happening in 2020, many businesses had to close down. And that means that many people were laid off and many people had to turn to online businesses or at least change their logistics to embrace online solutions. And that means that more than ever, people need websites. Could be e-commerce websites, could be a catalog website, just a presentation website. It doesn't really matter, but at the end of the day, people need websites. And the demand has literally exploded. Now, even before this crisis, people kept asking me, is it too late to start web design? Isn't there too much competition? And I kept saying that it was not too late because it was all about the market size. So if the market size was big enough then, you can imagine now. And even if the market looks like it's saturated where you live, you can still outsmart your competition by being a better professional. Because the truth is, many people go into the web design business just doing the bare minimum. And by that, I mean just purchasing a theme and then changing the logo, the colors, and that's it. If only they spend a little more time learning the basics of web design, they will be miles away in terms of quality. And quality means high paying clients and more business. So if you're willing to do that, you will find out that you have virtually very little competition, if any. Now, the good news is that it's not that hard. You must just be willing to dedicate time to it. And the best of all is that you don't have to wait. You can learn it along the way. I got many videos covering that. So if you want free training, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Reason number two. The WordPress platform has matured. Once upon a time, WordPress was just a blog engine. And then people started using it to create simple websites. It was not necessarily built for that, nor was it the best tool to create websites. But it is the tool that the market chose over others. And nowadays, one third of all websites on planet Earth are running on WordPress. And one of the reasons that happened is that WordPress as a platform has matured. It has moved from a blog engine to a content management system. And whereas Teams used to be the most important asset on a WordPress website, it has shifted to page builders and then to theme builders, just like Elementor Pro. So in case you don't know, you still need a theme to run WordPress, but with tools like Elementor Pro, you can totally customize your website, whereas previously you had to code to do the same. Now it's totally plug and play. And if you want to see it in action, check out my Elementor videos on the channel. Now, of course, you can still use WordPress the traditional way, which means that you install the free version of WordPress on your web hosting and domain, and then install a free or premium theme that is going to give the specific looks of your website and then change the content. And that works for many people. But as a professional, you want to go the extra mile. And tools like Elementor Pro, Divi, Breezy, Thrive Architects, and many more can help you tremendously. And as you may know, if you know my channel, I do have a personal preference for Elementor Pro, which I use on all of my projects. So of course, you'll find an affiliate link in the description below. It means that I do get a commission if you purchase after clicking on my link. But I only recommend Elementor Pro because I absolutely love it, use it on all my projects and recommend it to my friend and family who want to create a website. Now, that being said, even though all those tools are plug and play, 
I do still believe that you should learn the basics. By basics, I mean HTML and CSS. It's actually very easy and I believe that you can learn a lot about it in a month and that will help you so much in your WordPress web design career. And even if you are a pure creative and code scares you, fear not my friend. It's actually very easy and quite creative. I enjoy it so much that I still love adding a few CSS lines on all of my projects. And I'm a pure creative person at core. Because if you don't learn the basics, at one point you will be stuck and you will need the help from other people and that can quickly become tiresome and quite expensive. And the best of all, you can all learn it free here on YouTube or if you are looking for a paid course, you can try teamtreehouse.com or Udemy for example. Reason number three. It's an opportunity to become your own boss. Now, whether you're looking for a regular job as a web designer or you're willing to go freelance, learning WordPress web design skills will help you in the long run. Now, think about it. Even if you're not interested by entrepreneurship and you just want to get a regular job as a web designer, and let's say you manage to get it. Now, fast forward a few months later and just imagine you get laid off because of a crisis such as the one that hit us in 2020 or for other reasons then you would still have a skill set that would help you decide your own fate. Because as mentioned, the demand for this skill set is very high. And with the myriad of web design businesses that offer just the bare minimum, if you are a professional, you can provide for yourself and for your family. Now, it may not be your end goal because maybe you prefer the security of a regular job. But if 2020 has taught us something, it's that there is nothing like the security of a regular job anymore. It actually feels like quite the opposite because nowadays freelancers are the ones with more security and cherry on the cake, freedom comes as a bonus. Now maybe your situation is different, maybe you've always wanted to fly on your own, fire your boss and become your own boss. Well, I got news for you because while many people rush into scams promising them millions while just working 5 minutes a day, a web design business may not make you rich, although I'm pretty sure a millionaire Chris Hughes from a nerd's world would disagree on that. But even if it doesn't make you rich, at least it gives you an opportunity to make a good living while doing something you are passionate about from anywhere in the world. And you can even do it in your pajamas if you so wish. Now, I remember that I had been willing to become my own boss for many years before I actually did it. And it took circumstances where I had no choice if I wanted to make a living after moving 10,000 kilometers away from where I used to live with no family to help nearby and in a market with a high unemployment rate. Have you ever considered that maybe, just maybe, this is exactly what you needed? Maybe this is your chance in a lifetime to embrace entrepreneurship. Hmm, food for thought. Now, question of the day. How has 2020 impacted you and what's your plan for the future? Please let me know in the comments as I love interacting with you and I genuinely want to know how do people cope with all of that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps growing this channel. And if you're interested in knowing all aspects of WordPress web design business, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And if you really want to see what it's like to be a web designer, make sure you check my video Day in the Life of a Web Designer that's appearing on screen right now. And I really hope that it's going to help you imagine yourself in that great career. Peace.